Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeast.com. Welcome back to a quick video. And today, in this video, we're going to do something different. I'm going to show you guys how I make merchandise, how I make gear with the heat press and the cricket cutter and the laptop. Before we get started, so, I want to make sure I let you guys know what you need exactly to, to do what I'm ready to show you guys. First thing you'll need, you will need heat transfer bottle like so, whatever your logo may be for your garment. You need a garment like so. This is just a regular jersey hoodie, really good material. And you also need a cutter. This right here is called the Cricut Explore Air 2. But there's other cutters called Cameo, Silhouette, whatever the case may be. I like Cricut because it works really good with me. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my mat. This is a place mat, Cricut place mat. This is what you'll use to put your vinyl on. But before I do that, let me make sure I cut it and measure it. So usually how I do it, I'll just grab my vinyl and I'll just cut enough, like a square. As long as it can fit, as long as it can fit your board, you should be cool. And usually when I get like little sides hanging off like this, grab my scissors, come back along those lines, snip them. I'll pick that up later. Snip them. Now that we have this, let's turn on our cutter. Open this up. I had this cutter for a while now, so it's a little old, but she worked fine. So what I do is on my in my cut in my Cricut Explorer Air, I make sure that it's in there first, but then I press the arrow to, to feed it inside. Then, whilst I do that, I'll go ahead and find a design that I need. So Continue. So right here, this button, you just press to cut it. Boom. Also, make sure, make sure that it's your, whatever logo you got is on mirror, mirror on. It's gotta be mirror on, it cannot be any other way. And then we just watch that cut. So now, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can see the imprint that we have of the logo cut into the vinyl, into the HDV. So now that we have that, let's take this off. I'm gonna do another one for the beat, for the, the back side of the garment, but I'm gonna cut off what we have already, just so we can have this ready to go. You go to make it and in Cricut it gives you different ways that you can upload into your uh, into the workspace but I try to keep it as simple as possible because Cricut can have a lot of updates and a lot of unnecessary features that don't really do anything so I'm gonna put SOR in mirror mode and I'm gonna go to continue same exact way I did the sour logo wait for it to read This, feed it inside and we're gonna cut this one now this design takes longer than the sour so be aware of that certain designs take longer than others so let's go ahead and start by heating up our promo heat heat press right here we're gonna let this sit for a little bit we got the garment right here the garment is actually safe nothing should burn and we now have our SOR cut out I don't know if you can see it on the camera but we have it we have it cut out so now that we have both our logos cut out let's start peeling everything so I'm gonna show you how to do that with the handy dandy I call I don't know what to call this but I call this a picker cricket picker and I'm show you guys how we can see. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna pick this, just 
just like this. And as you can see, it's open for me to just pull. So now that I have that open, I can just slide it back. And the magic of HTV vinyl is that when you slide it back, it'll automatically stick to the adhesive that it's already on. So the shiny side is the sticky side. That's where you're not supposed to cut on this side. So if you see your logo on, if you cut your, your logo out starting on this side, you gotta do it again. You have to cut on the flat side. Shiny side down, solid side up. Make sure it's not shiny. If it's shiny, you messed up. It's supposed to look like this, not like this. If you're on this side, wrong way, this side. So let's go ahead and peel it. And what I do, I just peel it. If you have a design with, as you can see, you can see like kind of the cut right there. That's kind of like the zero cut. I call it like just the zero. Just take it off. And in order to do that, just the same way exactly how you peeled it from the first time. You just got to get in there, grab your picker, a little tension, a little pressure, boom, there you go. Because this is not in the original design. We don't need this. So, so we have another logo. This is the sour logo. This is gonna be on the front, unlike the SOR, the SOR is gonna be on the back. And I'm just gonna, like I showed you in the last, in the last cut, this corner needs to come up with this picker. So I'll grab the corner, lift it up, boom, like so. All right, bet. So now that we got our logos, we have both the SOR logo, and then we have the Sour logo as well. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the Sour first since we have it facing up. We have the garment facing up. <coughs> Usually what I do, I try to make sure, I lift, I'll lift both sleeves up to make sure it's evened out. Especially when I'm dealing with big hoodies like this. This is a 2X, so you wanna make sure it's even because sometimes it can trick you if you're not paying attention at the, the way the hoodie can fold. Do that, this looks good. Slide that down, cool. Now that we have that, let's jump right into the press. You ready? Three, two, one. <clears throat> and usually, how I do all of my cuts, I'll keep the temperature at like at least 350 and up and 10 seconds. Sometimes I might even sit and give it like a little extra second. All right, we looking good, we looking good. Now let's peel, and you're gonna see how the heat works so well with this vinyl. Peel that back. Right. So now we got that on the front. Now, let's go ahead, flip this hoodie to the other side, and we're gonna add our last logo. Another trick you want to do when you're dealing with hoodies or anything that's like a thick garment, make sure that everything reaches the end of the press. And what I mean by that is make sure everything is flat. You don't want no air bubbles to pop up because if you have any air bubbles, you won't be able to get the press to hit the way you will want on the logo. You want to make sure everything is flat. So whenever you're doing these types of things, Whenever you're doing heat press and heat vinyl, always think of a flat. Just think of the flat and make sure everything's flat. Garment's flat, logo's flat, the press is tight and it's ready to be flat when you flatten it. So, <clears throat> I wanna make sure this is good. I'm gonna line it up with the other side too. And by 
doing that, I'll just lift it up and do what I do. how you make clothes using the heat press and the Cricut cutter.